I suppose we ought to touch it. You ready then? Yeah, I'm ready. Five, maybe six days. Yeah. All was done. All was done. And it's five past eight in the morning. On in Carlisle? In Carlisle. Time to go. Time to go. Right. Three miles in, still doesn't feel very rural to be honest. I'm just walking by the railway, in between the railway and the river at the minute. We've had housing estates, factories, Lord knows what else, lots of dog walkers. And cyclists. And cyclists. Well, we are on a cycle of path. <laughs> but listen to the birds a minute. Not bad, eh? Right, crack on. We're about, I think, a little more than halfway to Dalston. Try and get a coffee or something there. And we'll see. Dawson, about five miles in, got myself a bacon and sausage roll from Crumbs. Very friendly people. On a busy road though. Mm -hmm. Just leaving Dalston. I can highly recommend the Crumbs, I guess it's what, sandwich roll takeaway place. Got some chairs outside, but they do close at half past two if you're on your way from Colbeck. Luckily, we're on our way from Carlisle, so. Yeah, highly recommended. So, we've almost finished all the tarmac for the day now. We've got a, another mile or so to go and then we'll get out into the fields, I believe. Not about time. It's quite hard walking on this tarmac, I think. At the end of five days. Hmm. <laughs> Not keen. Anyway, we'll see where we get on for the next five miles. half miles in we are finally off the tarmac out into the wind unfortunately but there it is not much so I think we've got a whole load of fields eventually take us back to the river but uh, yeah it's a nice cool breeze actually only about the wind shouldn't do that we're a bit concerned about tomorrow though it's due to start raining in what was it seven o'clock tonight and then stop about seven o'clock the next night with like 90% probability of heavy rain all day. So there's a chance we might stay in cold back for the day and just watch it out the tent door. But we'll see, we've got to get to cold back first. A bit more English countryside for you. First view of the fells down over there. Go away. Back by the river now. I think we pretty much follow it into Colbeck, where I'm not really sure. Just had a cows in the field experience. So we're walking through the field, there's a herd of cows like in the shade, taking no notice. We walk past them and then a bit later we turned round and they're about <laughs> four foot behind me. <laughs> a whole lot. It's a bit worrying. But we got out. Yeah, and we didn't have to go through that lot. So that's There's good. a big field of cows here as well. Luckily, the path goes round, so <laughs> we got time to calm down. So this is the sort of style you should put on 
a like national trail. You can see the bit in the middle is half height or quarter height so that little legs like Linda can swing round <laughs> and get through it. This is Rose Bridge. Very nice. So we just hit one of these stiles that Linda can't get through. <laughs> she didn't film it. Mm. <laughs> I might I might have filmed her. Don't tell her. So we've been through two fields of cows and in both occasions they followed us. Yeah, they didn't follow anybody else. No. Exactly no, there's two other couples went through, they ignored. Yeah. It's a bit scary. I mean, they didn't look vicious or anything. Yes, but inquisitive. Been looking at the weather. We're looking at heavy rain high winds over the tops tomorrow so I think it's quite likely we're going to just stay in Colbeck for the day sit in the pub most of the day I would imagine and uh, yeah after that it all clears up so should be fine we're just trying to work out because we've got a hotel booked in Overston on Friday night and don't really want to be in Coniston Hall campsite on a weekend from what we hear about it and then we'd end up in Orson on Saturday which is significantly dearer so we're just mulling over plans and see what we can come up with but uh, that's for tomorrow I guess So we're about 12, 13 miles in now. Uh, yeah, almost, 13. almost 13. Yeah, getting a bit tired now. It's very hot and muggy. Sounds like, or feels like there's a thunderstorm on the way, which I think there is, so. Anyway, just coming out to the woodland section alongside the river. Maybe it'll be a bit cooler in there. Oh, blimey, I bet you can tell by my face and I'm a bit hot and sweaty and horrible. But uh, we thought we had two fields to go by. It turns out to be one field and this lovely birch forest. Newly planted, well, you know, recently planted. Lovely. We did stupidly talk about going over High Pike tonight as though we were 21 again. But that's not going to happen. So, Corbett Camping. Hopefully they'll welcome us with open arms. Point us to the nearest shower. There's a pub down the road. Get ourselves in there. Okay, so we are tucked up in Corbett Camping. Yep. Site just outside Corbett. Nice sight. Really it is, nice isn't, sight, it? isn't it? Yeah. Excellent yeah. showers. I mean, mm. like proper, proper showers. Yeah, really yeah. good. Basically, we've decided we're going to stay here tomorrow um, because we're due to have heavy rain and 30 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour gusts up on the tops and going to be like that apparently all day tomorrow. It is. But sure. when, so that will be Tuesday. Wednesday, the, the weather looks pretty good. Mm. Have you enjoyed yourself today? I have, yeah. The route was prettier than what I've been led to believe, I think, especially down by the river. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of walking along the riverbanks, isn't there? Yeah. Right, just six minutes of drivel. <laughs> Better stop then, <laughs> <don't> we? <laughs> 
<laughs> so we'll cut that down. Yeah. Anyway, we'll um, we'll see you the day after tomorrow. Won't bother filming tomorrow because you know, nothing to film. Nothing to Not film. Unless it changes dramatically, which is highly unlikely. Right, you see, we keep starting new conversations. <laughs> Bloody hopeless. Shut up, We're woman. Going. We're going. Bye. Bye. <laughs>